I'm starting this bracelet with two colours, section one on the left and section two on the right. You can do a striped version with this pattern, but that works best if the colours are distinctly different. This pattern is worked in two sections. For the first section, you knot from left to right in traditional friendship bracelet style. For row one, you want to do all forward knots. For row two and every subsequent even numbered row, you want to ignore the first and last threads and beginning with thread two and three, do forward knots and you want to do forward knots again for the whole row. So after row two, you'll see that you've switched the position of the two threads in the centre and you want to keep repeating rows one and two until you've swapped the position of all your threads. So for me, pink is now on the left and yellow is on the right. So for section two, you want to start by doing row one in exactly the same way as you did in section one. You just want to do forward knots all the way from this side to that side. For your second row, where in section one you're ignoring the first and last threads, this time you're also going to ignore the two threads in the centre. So starting with thread two and three, you want to do a forward knot. And then again, forward knot. And it's forward knots all the way across, except, as I said before, you're going to skip the next two threads. So you want to ignore these two here and then working these two, you want to do a forward knot. And then one last forward knot. And you can repeat these two rows for section two for as many rows as you want. For mine, I switched back to working the whole row straight across on row 12. And then the colours work like section one until the colours are switched back into the original position. And you want to keep repeating these sections until you've got the bracelet as long as you want it. 
So once you've done as many rows as you want for your single colours, you'll notice you've got a little gap there. So now you want to rejoin. So for me, I'm rejoining on row 12 and you can rejoin on whichever row you want. But bear in mind, it will have to be an even numbered row because that's the row where you do your threads in the centre together and that's where you'll rejoin. So getting to the centre threads where you were ignoring them on every even row before, now you're going to knot them together and then that's going to be the beginning of this crossover bit. And then for this, you're going to again swap your colour position and this time you're going to bring it back to what it was in the beginning. And you just want to keep repeating these steps until you get the bracelet as long as you want it. And once you've done that, you should once again have your colours back in their original position.